Chromium, Lucodium, top and bottom steam welding wheel. Here we have a, a barrel. Here is the inlet. This is the pressure adjustment knob. The pressure gauge. Air filter. Drain knob. Air lubricator. This one here is a cylinder. That gives the pressure for welding. Now at the bottom we have the foot switch through which we can uh, do the welding by detecting this switch. Here we have the speed control adjustment. You can adjust the speed of the motor depending upon your requirement for stream welding. Then here we have the microcontroller. Now here we show you the working. This is the on off switch, you can switch on this, you see the indicator coming on, for setting, you have to set this button, now see we kept this 30 cycles as squeeze time, you can decrease or increase, depending upon your requirement, or you can refer the manual and then accordingly keep the squeeze time, again you press the set button, you will see welding time glowing. This also can be increased or decreased depending upon the job requirements. Now at the moment we have kept a one cycle. Then again you press the set button. This is a full time. Accordingly you can increase or decrease. Now here you have the whole time that we kept 20 cycles. This also can be increased or decreased. Refer the manual. This is a heat percentage that at the moment we kept 7%. This also can be increased or decreased. Refer the manual. Now, this program is set for particular thickness, which can be referred to the manual and set the parameters accordingly. For the thicker sheets or thinner sheets, the welding data is provided in the manual and then you can set this parameter for welding. We will show you once again. This is the control on off switch. Here, here is the parameter setting button in the center. When you press switch time close, this can be increased or decreased. Then this is a weld time drawing. This also can be increased or decreased. Then this is a Full time can be in increase or decrease. Then this is a whole time. Similarly, you can increase or decrease. This is a heat percentage. That's called the welding current required for the welding the job. Now this second time we explained you the working of the microcontroller. Here you have the weld no weld switch. When you put towards weld side, you can do the welding and the current will pass. When you want to put on lower side, that time the current won't pass. Here, you connect pressure to about 40 to 60 psi. Again, you can refer the manual. You can keep the pressure as per the data given in the manual. With the lubricator, you must see that the oil is filled up to this level. So that this filter gets lubricating while the welding takes place. This is the speed adjustment. It's an on-off switch. Here you can adjust the speed. You can refer the manual and keep accordingly. Now we kept this knob at no weld. You can press the foot switch and see the means rolling without current being passed. Just see, it is rotating without current being passed. When you put it on the well thread, the welding current is passed. 
course, you should only do the welding when the job is in between the two wheels. Otherwise, you should never do the welding when the switch is on the weld side because it will short the wheels and the fuel might blow or the, it may damage the controller. See to it that you take a precaution, always put the job between the two wheels, then do the welding. I hope you have understood the working. Now, after this, this video will show you the welding. This is the pump on off switch. Before starting the machine, you should always keep this pump on off switch on. Here we have water tap. If you open this little bit, you will see the water is falling on the wheel. So while welding, just see that water is falling on the welding wheel. Then you do welding. Now here we have the greasing nipple. You should always put the grease over here for lubricating the cap so that it runs smoothly. Also put the grease in the gear box that will run the machine smoothly. Thank you. 